Three good evening from MC Tamarasan here from Chennai. The last day of the 21 day FB live challenge. First of all, thank you everyone who have been uh, behind the uh, this live, uh, who have been a great, great support for me for this 21 day FB live challenge. Thank you so much. With the thanks note, let me start this live, the last live for this challenge. Yes, what is this? The 21 day FB live challenge that was started by Marisa and she created a Facebook group called as 20, the 21 day FB live challenge. Uh, we have almost like 1400 members in the group. Uh, uh, the on day one so this live is going to be uh, mostly in english um because again i'm going to connect with the international audience every day i've been doing live both in english and tamil um just for the uh, want of my audience the local audience at uh, chennai and tamil nadu but today it's going to be just a casual live it's uh, where i'm going to share about my experience about this 21 day live challenge so mostly it's going to be in english please bear with me my uh, local regional audience Okay, what it is, how it started, how it went towards a net result. Uh, I don't have the exact statistics of what is the benefit I've got out of it. But what of the effort I have put in, put in, I know what's the effort that has been put in and uh, I'll be sharing it with you so that it can inspire others, it will help others to know what are the benefits uh, or the, what are the steps you can take uh, for such challenge and how you can go about it in future. Okay, first thing, how it started uh, on 24th of uh, July, when I was in a cinema theater, my mentor Dr. Maharaja called me. And he said that there is something called as FB live challenge. He, I usually he insists me to do certain things. He will say that you have to do that. But this time I don't know why he said that. He told me that uh, there is something going on. I'll send you a link. If you want to do, you can do that. But I wish you do that. This is what he told me. Uh, that made me immediately go and check the link. Um, even when I was in the theater, I checked that and he, he asked me to do. He, he told me that if at all I want to do that, I can start it before 12 midnight. But I was in a night show. Usually the movie gets over by 12:30. Uh, by 11 i saw the link and uh, i wanted to start it right away because i found it um it, I, I found it to be inspiring like and I, I found the challenge to be great uh, because usually i'm a person who don't uh, i like to admit it honestly i'm a person who don't uh, like to stick to long-term commitment if you ask me a short-term commitment yes i'm ready to do that when you come for long term for example if you ask me to block my date for a month for two months or a year i will think twice or ten times uh to give the commitment same went, uh, same went, in, uh, went on my mind when it was a 21 day FBL challenge. So I wanted to take it as a challenge so that I bring in the discipline to have the long term commitment. That was the first reason why I accepted this challenge. And by 11 or 11 10 at the theater, when I got the break, uh, the, it was so dark, uh, there was no proper lighting. But still, I did the, and in fact, uh, my mobile didn't have a proper support. Sometimes the voice doesn't record properly. But still, I did that live challenge for a minute there, giving my intro talk. From day two, I wanted to do it in a little professional way. I started doing it at my home, when I, either at, uh, I'm at my home or at my office at Ananagar or whether I'm at an event or at my mentor's house where I have a night stay. So wherever I was, I made sure that I completed the live. So that's how the, the success story of mine uh, for the consecutive 21 days without even a single day break. I did my life whether I have a good health or whether I'm outside or whether it's raining outside, whatever the challenges may be. I had a lot of challenges in doing it. Even in fact, today also, I had a very big challenge. I came home by evening, evening by 5 or 5.30. I had a great sleep. I just got up at 11 o'clock, 11, 11.15. As soon as I got up, I remember I need to go for the live before 11.45. So immediately I updated the post in um, uh, Facebook and WhatsApp and I'm on live here. Or if it's a normal case, if I have got up by 11.15, again, I would have had my dinner and sleep. So this, this 21 day FB live challenge has made me into a disciplined person. A lot of people may have question whether it ends here or it's going to continue. Uh, this is what I always say when someone attends a camp, uh, like I used to attend a lot of camp when I was in my school days. Uh, I was a part of a uh, few organizations where when we go to camp, uh, we get, uh, get up in the morning at five o'clock. We go to bed late night by 10 or 9.30 or 10. Uh, well, for those days, uh, 10 is a late night. Uh, so get up at five and going to bed by 10. Again, the next day morning, I need to get up by five. So this, this is what happened in uh, three days or for the seven days. Uh, at the mid of the camp, the feeling would be, wow, uh, no, it's just like, uh, at the end of the camp, either I should go home and sleep well. Uh, once the third day is over, if you are going, going home by third day night, all you want to do is that there will be, be two categories of people. One category, the next day, full day, I would like to have sleep. That's one category. And the second category, they would like to continue the same discipline what they had in the camp. Oh, yes, tomorrow I have to get up at five o'clock in the morning. I should have this as an habit. So you need to decide uh, what sort of person you are. You want to have a complete rest after three days of camp or 
you like to continue the same discipline what you follow this so that you take your life to the next higher level so it's in my hand uh, from tomorrow whether i'm going to do it as a regular every live or if i'm going to do it on and off or, uh, or whether i'm not going to come in live at all but chances are more that i'm going to do live regularly every day though there could be a break here and there but i wish i don't have a break i want to have it as a consistent factor like long term commitment i'd like to continue it uh, though i may change the name as 21 day afb live challenge maybe change as something else and i would like to come on live every day every single day i would like to do it either at from my home or from my event or from wherever i am whether it's a short live or it's going to be a very big live so this is the thing what i wanted to share here so the success story the success journey what has happened here i said that how i started how it's ending here today in between in between this 21 day what has happened i like to share a statistics it started from my mentor dr maharaja i started doing it and then i told my business partner nandini if she i the same way he told me i told her if you wish you can go out with a challenge you can start doing it so that it gives you some some more insight about yourself it will help you uh, shoot more videos all those things and she started doing the challenge from day 3 and she cleared the backlog after she started on day 3 she did a video on english video in english then she did another video in tamil for the regional audience again she did the same for the next two days uh, next day which she matched and she was able to do the live for 20 days now i'm sure uh, she'll complete it either today or tomorrow and dr maharaja did it i did it and nandini uh, did i'm not sure if she's completing a 21 day it's in her hand and uh, apart from that what has happened uh, that that inspired me more not only our team we did this live uh, i was able to make two more persons do live for the first time in their life when i did my live at uh, hockey stadium for coif uh, men's hockey final i had a volunteer named jyotishwar after seeing my live he got inspired and he did that ana enakku konju solli kudunga i would also like to do live how to do that i asked him to take his phone uh, i i uh, taught him how to do the live and did live for around 20 30 minutes there so that made me really uh, motivated like on seeing my live there, there was another person who got inspired and uh, who never knew what an fb what a fb live is and he did it for the first time i did ex- he did extremely well that's what i would like to say more than the quality of the live all all would like to all would like to say is it's a start it's a push where he did a live that's it so uh, he did it and yesterday i did it with my trainee uh, lambodara kumar uh, i was at my mentor's house yesterday night we both stayed there i thought that, okay i will have a live with him uh, so i did a live it was for 45 minutes where i was in fact that was an eye opener for for me as well i learned a lot from him i came to know what he thinks about our team what he has in his mind and he was also able to share a lot about his uh, personal life about his career about his college life so these two persons were new persons whom i have introduced into fb life and uh, i did a lot of uh, few a uh, few other things which which was running in my mind for quite a long time like uh, shooting an, a live or a video on a, like an interview mode uh and myself and dr maharaja used to plan a lot uh, to shoot videos like i am interviewing him or he interviews me or i interview some other entrepreneur which i was able to do that uh, during this live i did um, you know, we had a it's sort of like an interview format except for that what i had with lambu the other one there are, there was two other lives two or three more lives with nandini we both uh, shared space and uh, we did live to address the questions of our team members and other even professionals so we did a lot of new things uh, that was uh, quite challenging and uh, that was quite, uh, quite a happy experience for me i would say and what are the topics that were covered here i have the list of topics before i go to the list of topics i would like to share what is the outcome for me what is the effort i have put and what is the outcome excuse me okay all of this 21 day life challenge I have around 37 videos, including today's videos, and there will be a few more coming from Nandini. I have the list of videos. What are the videos we have shot every day? At least I do one video, and Nandini do one video, and sometimes we both do it together. We both did together. So we, I have around 37 videos, including today's live, which is a, which itself is a big asset for me now. What I'm going to do with these 37 videos? They have already gone into my YouTube channel. They have gone into my website. Yes. As soon as I started my live, I created a new YouTube YouTube channel named Chennai Event Times Live Video, so that you can see all our live videos there. When you come to our normal company channel or my channel, MC Tamil or Chennai Event Times, uh, you could find all the videos where we have spoken on the selfie video, where we have conducted events, uh, where we have been interviewing others, and a lot more uh, genre. But when you come to this uh, live channel, you'll be seeing only those videos that were shot live, which means. i uh, definitely it would be without not much makeup sometimes i won't say that zero makeup sometimes i may be little bit of makeup 
and not much makeup like as in events or in media. Second thing on some topic of which would be beneficial for our audience, except for a few live that were that, that were done at my events. And that also I made sure that when I do live in those events, I gave some intro about the event. I talk uh, something about the event. Like uh, we did a live for uh, when we did the activity for Radio City at uh, Augustine College. So it was a roadshow. So I gave a speech on roadshow. What's a roadshow? So uh, if it was another, another live uh, in my normal YouTube channel, I would have just shot the video and left it. But when it came for live videos, I made sure that I explained what's happening there and what is that event about, uh, what is the genre of that event. So that all these videos in my live uh, channel would be educative, informative videos. That's what I wanted to make sure. So we have around 37 videos on different, different topics. I'm going to read out those topics. So probably as you listen to these topics, um, if you are interested in these topics, you can uh, get into my YouTube channel. You can get into our YouTube channel or our website and you can uh, watch those videos. Day one, I started with the introduction about myself and Nandini did her introduction about who we are. And uh, yes, I forgot to introduce myself today again. Uh, I'm Tamar Hassan, uh, event MC, event trainer, IMC trainer and uh, founder of Chennai event MCs. I train MCs, uh, though I haven't found the right trainee for me at this moment except Nandini. We are, I have been, myself and Nandini, we have been looking out for some dedicated trainees for Chennai event MCs, whom we can train, we can send to other events, we can, we can trust on the quality and send them. This is a basic background about us. On day two, I spoke something on leveraging videos and event management. So every day what I did, I touched two topics. One is a general topic, another one is a event based topic. So on general topic, I covered leveraging videos. Like if you take a FB video, how you can leverage it. If you shoot a video, how you can leverage it. You can convert it into audio, you can transcribe it, or you can share it in YouTube, you can share it in Vimeo, you can share it in website, Facebook. And lot of the things I'm not going to touch the in-depth topic because I'm just touching the uh, heading of the uh, I mean uh, touching the topic so that you can go to the live video or you can go to my YouTube channel and uh, watch those videos to know the full content. Leveraging videos and what's event management like a lot of people just like they say I want to get into event management time into event management without even knowing what's event management about. Event management is different. MCing is different. When a lot of college boys approach me, all they mean is MCing or promoter boy rather than event management. But the word what comes from their mouth is uh, I want to get into event management. So to say it in a clear way, event manager comprises of the entire thing, including the MCs, performers, setups, decorator, stall booking, performer booking. Entire thing comes under event management, which is not so easy to start with. The, what is easy to start with? You can start as a promoter boy, you can start as an MC, and then after knowing the entire thing in the industry, event industry, you can get in to event as an event manager or event organizer. And on the same day, Nandini spoke on power of affirmation. She spoke, spoke in English. And again, for the want of uh, the regional audience, she spoke in the, uh, spoke it in Tamil. The next day, day three, I spoke on handling rejections and failures. I took some examples from Shah Rukh Khan, from Steve Jobs, and also types of entertainment in events. What are the genre of entertainment in event industry? Like uh, event tanker, host, uh, juggler, magician, ventriloquist, uh, dancers, and uh, a lot more. And Nandini spoke on power of affirmations in Tamil. Day four, I spoke on online marketing, entrepreneurship, EMC, event management. Yes, uh, that is one of my core topic, uh, one of my interesting topics I see when I, whenever I speak to other MCs or even professional, I talk a lot about social media marketing and online marketing because it's the easiest way, it's the most cost effective way where you can reach to a lot of people, you can reach to thousands and lakhs of people, there is no limit for you. Rather, if you go in person and meet someone, always have a restriction. You can meet only two person, three person. You need to travel. You need to spend your time. So I always tell people to get into online marketing, uh, entrepreneurship, MC, event management. I think in one of my videos, or I'm not sure if in this video, I spoke about employee turn entrepreneur. My story and Nandini's story, how we were employee and then how we turned into an entrepreneur. What are the things we did in between? What are the major things that have to be done? If you are going to resign your job, or if you want to get into a, get into as a freelancer or an entrepreneur, MC and event management. Again, I spoke a little bit on what's MCing about and what's event management about. And day four, Nandini also did a video on ten easy ways to improve appearance. So how to create a first appearance, a first appearance, and what are the easiest ways you can improve your appearance. She did it in English and also she did it in Tamil. The next day, I did again my favorite topic: social media marketing tips where I've already started in my website as an article like you keep your profile picture, your cover pic, update your description, join in Facebook groups, uh, take part in the uh, group discussion, uh, send a broadcast message in WhatsApp, etc. So all those things were uh, explained in detail in the video. 
Uh, then we did a live from uh, Vesanaga Beach uh, where uh, we hosted a walkathon for school students uh, uh, to pay tribute to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam on his second uh, anniversary. Uh, there was a huge event happening at uh, Rameshwaram. A lot of people were not able to go there. So a lot of events were happening in Chennai you know, to pay tribute to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. There was one such event we hosted. And the next day I, we, I had a live, I think we had a live myself and Nandini, we both added together on the opportunities and collaborations in event industry. Yes, we spoke a lot about how people can associate with us, what sort of trainees or what sort of collaborations we are looking out for. Yes, I would like to register once again here. We are not only looking out for trainees or freshers, we are also looking out for collaborations from the senior MCs and senior event professionals. We are open to have collaboration as long as people are dedicated and always we wanted to people have money as a secondary thought. Just because you want to have money, if you want to have a collaboration, I am not interested. We want to give our best in terms of quality to keep the client happy first and only then come money comes into picture. So we like to associate with such people. We like to associate with quality people. Quality also it comes second. The first is the attitude. Uh, even uh, for example, if I have an MC or if I have a trainee who doesn't perform well in an event and if the client gives feedback, I'll accept it and I can make the MC correct. But if I get a feedback on the attitude, then I would not like to work with the DMC or the event professional. So uh, we give importance to attitude and the approach, the dedication, what you have in the industry. So in the, in that, uh, with that note, I would like to say that uh, we like to associate with a lot of other people to create a win-win-win situation. Win for yourself, win for ourselves, win for the society or the client. So we are open for such uh, collaborations. And then I've spoken on, I've spoken on payment issues, fraud activities, safety in event industry. In the same day, I got a call from one of my team members or one of my friends. I can say uh, she was cheated by some of my event managers in lax. So that made me create the video the same day because even I have lost a few thousands of lakhs. I can say uh, which which is uh, going on legal from a resort. I need to get a couple of lakhs uh, which has gone legal now. We have issued a, we are in the process of issuing a legal notice uh, to them and uh, recovering the money back. And there are a lot of event managers and manpower who have been cheating uh, boys and girls without paying money or calling them for events without paying and uh, calling them to misuse them without even being in the event industry. They tell people that I would like to give events and they would like to meet. So all those things were discussed there, how to handle the strangers, how to handle the fraudulent activities, how to handle the payment issues, how to recover the money back. And Nandrin did a video on the same day on seven amazing benefits of clapping. Yes, clapping is very important, doctors say, and in the event industry we say if you clap, and there is a proper procedure for clapping. Normally we clap this way, but they say you have to do this way so that all your fingers join here, all the nerves get connected and it uh, it, uh, it has impact inside. So she spoke, you can um, uh, see a video and get to know what are the benefits of clapping. And the next day we were in uh, an event at uh, Pratap Plaza, Kodam Pakam. We did a live video on how we conduct table games, why we do the table games and how we conduct, how we attract the crowd. That was a uh, live directly from our event. And the next day, Nandri did an event on, I mean, uh, FB Live on stress management. It was a stress management tips by Nandri. Mostly, most of our top topics were uh, general topics like which would be useful for all the common men. And most of my topics were related to event industry. And I did, an, uh, a, live, I did a live on question and answer with Chennai Event MCs Tamarasal. Usually, I don't go uh, much, uh, much for much of interaction. What kind of events you used to do mostly? Raymond Sil, I will answer you shortly. Sorry, I didn't see the comment for quite a long time. I've been reading the list from my laptop uh, from the Excel. Um, where I am, question and answer. Yes, uh, usually I don't go for interaction during my life, but sometimes I wanted to have interaction where people can post their question and answer. That's what I did, a question and answer with Chennai Event MC's entertainer Tamar Arsan. And then I did a live the next day, how to be more productive in work during rainy season. And that's very important topic, which I wanted to talk every year during the rainy season because a lot of people when it uh, when it rains they get disappointed. Uh, they feel bad that my events are cancelled. I don't have work. My revenue is uh, revenue has dropped. But uh, I like to take the phrase from my mentor, Dr. Maharaja. He says, if it rains, uh, if it doesn't rain, let's meet and work. If it rains, let's sit at home and work. Either way, we have work. That's absolutely true. Uh, if you know what to do sitting at home, uh, rain is not going to be a challenge for you at all because not every month you are going to have great revenue. So during the rainy season, if you are going to stay at home, there are two concepts. One, uh, to follow some precautions to go out. Those, those things were discussed in the video. 
you you have to go out but how to go out you need to have a raincoat you need to have a rain jacket you need to have umbrella you need to have proper polythene cover for your mobile or your electronic gadgets etc this is one thing second thing you cannot go out you need to stay home what are the useful things you can do staying at home i discussed uh, you can do the back end tasks you can do social media marketing you can learn things you can watch videos so these were the things discussed in that video how to be more productive during the rainy season because nature would be doing its duty during summer it will be very hot during rainy season it will be raining outside you cannot go out so you need you need to balance your life how you are going to overcome these struggles these challenges those are the those are the things that were discussed in the video how to be more productive and then power of words by nandini uh, she spoke one on one video about power of uh, transform i mean uh, affirmations and another video she spoke of power of words and then we had a direct live from the radio city audition that happened at uh, agasan college uh, madhavaram as i mentioned earlier anandri was doing a fabulous job there uh, conducting audition conducting cultural program for the uh, college uh, students parallel was shooting a live on i explaining what's a road show about what all the elements involved in a road show how it happens what all the things happen in a road show uh, we had around four lives the very same day and then we had a live directly from CIYA fashion battle at the forum which I'm all saying Chennai International Youth Fest. Uh, it's coming to an end uh, by this 20th. A lot more activities are happening. You can get into the website CIYF.org to know what I'm talking about or what are the activities involved in that. We had a fashion battle for women. Nandini hosted the show. We had a live there. The next day, again, we had uh, some more live from there. We hosted semi-finals of the women's fashion battle. The next day we hosted women's marathon at Besanagar Alcott Memorial School. It was organized by Even Swap Priya. Uh, it had a very great channel coverage. Uh, uh, even came in uh, Sun News. It came in Dinathandi. Came in Polymer News. Very well the online channel. We also did a live from there. And then on 15th, that is or not on 15th, uh, the 15th day on Monday, I shot a video about our busy and successful weekend. Yes, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was a very busy weekend. I I've shared a lot in that video. You can see the video. I think we had around 13 events for Chennai event MCs. On Sunday alone, we had six events out of which myself and Nandini, we hosted three events, all MCing events. So we are happy with the growth. We are happy with the way others are supporting us, other event managers and the clients and other MCs are supporting us. Please keep supporting us to serve you better. The motivation and the support, what you keep giving us, that motivates us. Uh, it makes us uh, do more homework and give our best in the events. So please do keep supporting us. We'll also keep extending our support to you. Fashion battle and then women's marathon busy and successful weekend and Nandini did a live directly from uh, Mahindra Wilsley where she hosted the press meet of uh, Glen Eagles Hospital. Glen Eagles is nothing but the global hospital. They have changed their name recently in the last year. She has been doing the press meet regularly. Even I joined in one of the press meets at, um, I guess at Savera. I'm not sure if it's Savera or another venue. There has been a lot of press meet at least once in a month they do the press meet and Nandini has been hosting it regularly. The next day was a very sensitive topic, though I have named the topic here as building better relation between clients, even managers and even professionals. And again, the major topic discussed was what are the major complaints a client gives on even professional about the event managers, about the promoters and sometimes what are the fake uh, complaints just to reduce the payment. Because I was again a victim uh, the very same day from one of the event managers, I got a short pay. But after I proved much, he said that no, the client was not happy with the uh, promoter. What is saying that after a month during the day of the event, they don't give any complaint after the payment has been delayed when there is a short pay when they ask them question twice or twice. They say that we are not happy with promoter. So I explained very clearly in the video. If there is genuine feedback, if the feedback is genuine, that would have been shared then and there because end of the day, everyone wants the event to be happy, more productive, event has to be successful. But if the client keeps saying that uh, the, if the client or the event manager, let the promoter do the mistake, it's a negative impact for the company as well because if anyone says a mistake, uh, they would correct. They like to correct it then and there so that it doesn't affect, affect the brand value. But most of the clients of the event manager, they say that they let the promoter do the mistake so that they can uh, short pay at the end. I don't find any meaning in that because event has to happen well. Even if I go and see someone doing a mistake, if it's going to affect the brand value, I'll try to, uh, without seeing any ego or without uh, thinking of punishing them later, I would like to correct it then and there. That's what I discussed in the video. So if those things are corrected, after watching that video, if people, if people give me a comment that uh, if you shoot such videos, you'll be losing a lot of client. Client will fear to work with you. I'd like to answer them here. Definitely the clients whom I target will not take the video in the wrong sense because I target the client who works for quality. I don't uh, target the clients who 
uh, do even just for the namesake, just to clear the budget uh, from the company. So when we strive or when we try to maintain the quality, definitely whatever I spoke in the video, I think that makes sense. So I, what I have been requesting is I have not been I have not been blaming the client directly. I've been telling that if there is any problem, yes, there are people who make mistakes, including me, Nandini, or whoever is in my team. We do make mistakes, but when the mistakes are pointed then and there and corrected, definitely we able to give a great event there rather than uh, noting the mistake and saying it after a month, saying that this is what you did, this is what you have done. So this is what I've been sharing in that video. Correct the mistakes then and there to uh, get a great out of the event. And then uh, I spoke about websites, blogging, and uh, how to have a great business out of websites and blogging. Yes, as I mentioned in the video, uh, it was a time when I uh, when I thought that websites are pay for people who are rich or who have a very big business. But Dr. Maharaja uh, taught me how simple it was. So he taught me WordPress based website, which is where I started doing blogging. I've been a regular blogger for the last five years. Yes, 2012, July 27th on a friendship day. He created a website for me. He taught me uh, just he gave me two to three hours of training and then every day. I used to sit in the night, I learned certain things and again I go back to him, he taught me the enhanced version of the blogging. That's what I've been doing. So I would request everyone to have a website and a blog, Facebook page for yourself to develop your business. Because when you have more than Facebook page or the LinkedIn page or group or, or Google page or Twitter or whatever. If you have your own website, that's your own thing. It's your own house. Uh, it's going to be uh, helpful for you in a long run. Uh, those are the things I have discussed in that. So uh, whatever the video, whatever the topics I'm sharing here, I'm just sharing the gist of what I spoke there. To know more about it, you can get into that video and you can see that. Where you can find the video, I'll share the link. You can go to YouTube, uh, Chennai Event MCs live videos. Or you can get, to my, get into my website, Chennai Event MCs. Uh, there you can get into the blog where you can find the entire videos list as well. And then Nandri spoke on priorities of life. Uh, I think she used the board as well, I guess. Uh, uh, one of the topics I taught her in the recent thing, I guess, uh, uh, to be honest, I have not yet seen the video and shared a lot of a lot of her own inputs and shared the video. Then I was at CA of men's hockey finals at uh, May Radha Krishnan Stadium. One of the heart touching event for me because in hockey being India's national game, I've never witnessed an hockey match before. I've never hosted it before. It was a great opportunity for me to host a live hockey match, uh, watching it live, uh, hosting it. Making the taking the event to the next high level. Uh, the, there were two live videos that came from the hockey match, and then again I discussed another uh, video about the payment issues in the event and they say how to recover your money back and how to be very safe. What are the proofs you need to have uh, to get your money back? And then yesterday was a great live. There was a live with my trainee Lambo Lambodara Kumar. Uh, he's doing his MBA at Crescent Engineering College. Uh, yes, engineering college. He was introduced to us by Tamil Bharati. He is also his uh, batchmate. So two dedicated trainees, uh, Chennai event MCs have got. Lambo has been consistently coming um, with us for the events. Uh, he is he's a multi-talented person. He's a, he can he does channel surfing well. If you keep shuffling channel, uh, if you keep changing channel through remote, what is the channel name you see? He asks what's happening in the channel. He's a great dancer, and uh, in, he's uh, planning for some more acting now. I am not going to reveal what he's he's doing now. Once it's ready, I'll be revealing and I'll be using him in any of my events. So one of the dedicated uh, uh, trainees whom we have got and they live went for 45 minutes. Today we are at the last day, the 21st day, 21st, sorry, 21st, 21st day of the FB live challenge. Thank you once again, uh, everyone. Sorry, maybe if I have bored you reading all the list, but out of those 36 videos, definitely I'm sure you'll be uh, interested in one or two videos. What are the videos you're interested? You can get directly into the YouTube and search that video and you can watch the video. If you have any feedback, if you have any suggestion, if you have an opinion, feel free to share it either as a comment here or you can ping me in WhatsApp, my mobile number 984-000-3813. You can get into our website ChennaiEventMCs.com. You can get into our Facebook page Chennai Event MCs. Also, there is another page, a dual branding page, Chennai Event MCs, Tamar Hassan and Nandini. Okay, now I would like to answer this question, Raymond Seal. What kind of events you used to do mostly? Mostly we have been focusing uh, on birthday parties. Uh, that is our main focus. That has been my main focus for the for the last two months. However, I've been getting inquiries for the corporate events, get togethers, team outing. There was a time where we were hosting a lot of team outings, uh, October, November, and December. July, August, and September, I've kept a target for birthday. So that's how I keep changing my target. Because once I fix the target, I work more on that. I do the I do the what are the efforts that has to be put? I put it. So once that's put, 
all set even if i stop uh, doing the marketing for birthday after august or september definitely it will keep giving um, uh, some more inquiries by november december january so that's how every quarter i fix some target i take a certain journal and do that at this moment we are focusing more on the birthday parties but that doesn't mean we don't do other events we do all sort of events like uh, uh, i have my business card here i can read out our journal what are the journal we do it uh, probably i can share the business card also or any of my cover pick or our page cover pick will have that we host birthday parties corporate outings audio launches weddings sangeet wedding receptions mall activities team building activities conferences sports event outbound trainings press meets get togethers alumni meet uh, college reunion and lot more so these are the genre you can get into our website to know more about us and once again uh, thank you everyone to have supported me nandini and dr maharaja in this 21 days period for this the 21 day fb live challenge once again a great thank to marisa who have started this 21 day live challenge with that i like to wind up uh, thank you so much uh, stay blessed good night bye bye